This lesson will begin placing fixtures and receptacles throughout our first area on our floor plan. Okay, so right now I'm on my ceiling plan, first floor ceiling plan here. And our goal in this lesson is to get some of our lighting fixtures in place. Um, we'll also go ahead and place our panel and we'll place some of our receptacles throughout and then we'll establish a circuit for our first area. So the first thing I want to do is make some adjustments to my view here. Um, just starting out, I probably won't be able to see a lot of the electrical fixtures and, and receptacles that I'm placing throughout this layout because in this particular view, in the graphics display, um, some of those items are actually turned off. So in the properties window, I'm going to jump to my visibility and graphics and I'm going to turn on anything that's associated with electrical or our electrical system um, that I need to see. So for our case, we need to see our electrical equipment our electrical fixtures. We definitely need to see our lighting devices and fixtures as well. And I'm gonna scroll down and see if there's anything else I can make more visible while we're working. Uh, maybe even wires, because we definitely wanna see the path of our wires and throughout our circuit. So what I could do now is click apply and okay. And I'm gonna make one more change here is I need to change my view depth um, because we will be placing in our utility room receptacles that'll be about one and a half feet um, off of the ground so in an elevation of about one and a half feet so if I change my view range to that one and a half feet I'll be able to see my receptacles and anything from there up so let's do that really quick as well before we get started so I'll scroll down here to my view range and right now it's at seven foot six and we'll change it to one foot six for right now and I'm sure later on we'll have to make an additional change but for now this is gonna be good for us so I'll click apply and OK so now we can start by placing our first panel that's or our panel that's going to provide power throughout this entire suite. So to do that, I'm simply going to go to my systems and under our tab here, we can either go with devices and you see we have a number to choose from, but we're concerned with getting power in place. So we're going to go with electrical equipment. And since this is a brand new project here. I'm going to have to actually go hunt one down from a family folder. So Revit is just letting me know that I don't have one loaded into the project and I definitely want to go hunt one down. So I'm going to go look in a family folder, electrical, MEP. We'll go with electric power and we want to make sure we're choosing distribution. And in our project, it's a pretty simple suite. There's not too much heavy duty equipment in here other than maybe some of the stuff we have um, in our break area, like maybe a range or a refrigerator, or even in our IT room for some of the larger equipment there. So I'm going to make sure I choose a breaker that's simple, but that can handle what we're getting ready to throw at it. So I'm going to go with this single phased 120 volt system here. And we have two options with that. I've got a recessed option and a surface. So the recess is exactly how it sounds. This is a, a panel that's actually built into your wall system and your wall is framed around it and sheetrock is cut around it and everything but for me this is going to go in my utility room so I'm not too worried about it being pretty and I'm not really too worried about hiding it so I'm going to go with the surface mount here and I'll click open and we're simply going to place that that panel where we want it to be and I don't want it to be too close to this entrance so we could probably stand to move this over here along this wall so now that we have our panel in place we can now start placing some uh, lighting as well as receptacles uh, that will be powered by this panel. So to do that, I'm going to make sure I'm in systems again, but this time I'm going to go to my devices drop down. And let's start out with uh, some of our receptacles. So we'll go with electrical fixture here. And when I click that, again, Revis just letting me know that I don't have it loaded in a project, but we can definitely go get one. So we'll go back to electrical, MEP, electrical power, and we're going to we're concerned with working with terminals at this point. So I want to make sure that I'm picking a duplex terminal. Um, that's your average plug that you see in almost every office setting or residential project. So we're going to make sure we go with duplex receptacle. I'll click open. And you'll notice once I do that, once I place this, we get the symbol associated with that. So I can place my first receptacle where I want. So I know that this area here is going to be an IT room, but there's also going to be some telecom equipment back here. So we're going to need some outlets so people can maybe connect their internet and modems and things of that nature. So let's go ahead and place some of those. I'm going to place one really close to our panel here. And we'll have an area here that's dedicated 
strictly for telecom usage here. So we'll put maybe three, we'll say four outlets on this side. Perfect. Now you'll notice the outlets I just placed are the GFCI switches. And really what I need to do is I'll right click all those and I'm gonna select all instances. Because we really don't want the GFCI switch uh, for this area here. That's something maybe we could use in maybe our kitchen area in an area where we might be exposed to some moisture and the risk of shorting or you know tripping a breaker is, is pretty high. So I'm going to change these really quick and I'm going to go to my drop down. And from my drop down under my duplex receptacle, I have the option for the GFCI, which we have in place. But I want to switch all those to standard. And when I do that, you'll see that GFCI notation goes away and we have all our standard receptacles in place. So at this point, we can start laying out some of our lighting as well. So to do that, I'm going to go to the same area we went to for our equipment and device, but we're going to go to lighting fixture, and we're going to load one into this project this time. And instead of going under electrical like we've been doing for this case, we're going to go under lighting, and we'll go architectural interior, and in my design, I'm going to have uh, the 2x4 parabolic lights. So we'll go open. And I can now place these where I need to place them. So I'm placing my first one. And I'm going to rotate this one real quick just so it fits inside that grid. So I'm just going to grab it and rotate it. And we'll place it in the position. Like so. So now I can place the rest of my lights throughout. So I can take this light and we could come back and maybe, you know, click on lighting fixture again and or we can actually copy this light. So I'm going to copy it because I don't want to have to rotate every single time when I'm trying to position the lighting according to, to my needs here. So again, we'll copy this and I'm simply going to click and drag. So we're going to want some lighting, definitely going to need some lighting in this area. And we'll copy one more. Bring another light fixture over to this area. Okay, so before we finish placing our fixtures, we need to get one more thing in place, and that's going to be our switch. So as you're coming into this room, uh, you'd like to be able to actually turn on the light and be able to see what's going on within this area. So to do that, I'm simply going to go back to devices again. We'll go to lighting. And this time, I'm going to go to electrical, MEP, electric power, and terminals. And this time I'm simply looking for a real basic light switch. Once I find that, I'll click open and we can now place that light switch anywhere we want to. And you can notice it's also represented by a symbol here with the S with the line going through. But you see that three? That's because we have a three-way light switch. And really this won't require a three-way three light switch. So I'm going to go to my drop down here and I'm looking for a single pole light switch, which is the most basic uh, type of light switch you'll see in almost any residential and commercial project and we'll place that here right by our door perfect so now that we have all of the elements within our first circuit in place in the next lesson we'll establish a circuit and in our intelligence